The house that was stuck in South Austin is finally out of the neighborhood, but after a chaotic journey, it's stuck again just outside of San Marcos. A crew started moving the house at midnight. It traveled a few miles south on Congress Avenue before getting stuck on the railroad tracks. Later, it got stuck again along the southbound frontage road of I-35 at SH-45, all because it could not pass a guardrail. On top of that, the truck moving the home had three blown tires. A tire company was able to repair the tires just before 5 o'clock this evening. Field manager says he's never had issues like this before. Everything was measured and probably once, twice, three times a week. You know, I mean, but again, you're talking about curvature and a tree. You're talking about caddy corner. You're talking about um, a telephone pole that's just slightly off, you know. It, you know, you can measure and measure and, and still not quite be perfect. The moving crew will start to moving that home again from Highway 21 around midnight tonight. They hope to have it finally in Lockhart by tomorrow morning. After all the problems moving that house, we wanted to know how these moves are supposed to happen. So we followed another home successful journey in Austin. KXA and investigator Kevin Schwaller has this story and found many times safety precautions are left to the movers. You get on Craigslist and search for house to be moved. Yep, Craigslist is how Kenneth Gall says he found his house. He just had to figure out how to move it. It was crazy. It was totally crazy. This is what the house looks like cruising down Austin streets last month. But before this, Kenneth says he and the mover had to work to pull off the journey safely. His house was too tall, so off came the roof. But that didn't take away all the obstacles. We walked down the street here with a pole that's 15 feet high. Kenneth says they were looking out for things like trees and power lines. He ended up working with an arborist to get branches cut down that were in the way. You can't just grab them up and go. You've got to have your city permits. You've got to get your arborist with a city. Joe McCullough is the executive director of the Texas Association of Structural Movers. He says the members of his association usually drive the route ahead of time. A Texas DMV spokesperson tells us companies have to sign a document swearing they inspected their path for house moves, but no one could point us to a similar rule for Austin roads. You know, they don't build them like they used to. For Kenneth, a little planning helped make an old house the newest addition to the block. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. And Kenneth hopes to finish work and move into his house before Christmas. He says his move also used escorts to make sure they could transport the building safely through Austin. Although the city does not require movers to inspect their routes, here's what the Austin relocation permit does require. Movers have to be bonded and insured. The owner or mover also has to get a public tree care permit if they need to remove branches or other vegetation along the route and all relocations require inspections. We also wanted to know more about the state requirements. Last year the state issued nearly 1600 house move permits. A DMV spokesperson says loads more than 16 feet wide must have front and rear escorts. The DMV can also analyze and issue permits immediately, but as Kevin mentioned in his report, house moves require someone to physically check out the route ahead of time. Typically, oversized loads have uh, to move in daylight. However, a lot of the house moves must occur at night.